News out of Pacifica tonight where police say they shot and killed a woman who had just shot her own son. Good evening, everybody. I'm Vicki Libiakis. I'm Ken Wayne. At last check, Francisco Boulevard between Clarendon Road and Lakeside Avenue was shut down as police worked to clear that scene, a scene that's been active now for several hours. And that is where we find Cronford's Dan Thorne with the very latest on what's happening there. Dan. Yeah, Ken, this quiet beach town shaken up by uh, gunshots this morning. It appears that there were two shootings that happened here. Uh, and Pacifica police still out on scene 10 hours later. This all started around 8 o'clock this morning. Investigators say they responded to an apartment complex here on Francisco Boulevard. And that was after they got a 911 call from a man who said that he was shot by his mom. So when police got here, they saw the mom driving away from the area. They eventually caught up with her. She pulled a gun on those officers. And then one of those officers opened fire and killed her. They then went to the apartment and found the son with a gunshot wound. He was later taken to the hospital and is right now doing okay. Uh, we have learned tonight that no Pacifica police officers were injured, uh, but a neighbor tells us she was at home at the time. She heard the gunshots ringing out this morning, and she had no idea what was going on and then was disturbed after finding out what happened. I heard a bunch of gunshots. I think over at least half a dozen. I mean, anytime somebody dies, it's sad, right? But I don't know the story. If she shot her son trying to kill him, I mean, I'm sorry for her, but something, something's wrong with her. You don't shoot your own child. <laughs> Yeah, we're still trying to work on those details, uh, figure out exactly what the circumstances were, what led to this mom uh, shooting her son, whether there was a fight, uh, some sort of domestic issue that was uh, going on there. Uh, Pacifica police responding to the scene here, as well as uh, South City Police and the San Mateo County Sheriff's Office. Uh, a part of protocol, the San Mateo County District Attorney's Office is going to be investigating this as well. Still working to collect a lot of information, but as we mentioned off the top of this report, between Clarendon and Lakeside along Francisco Boulevard. The area is still closed off here as investigators are combing this apartment complex. Also, a lot of people that are driving through this area uh, shocked by what they're looking at, curious about what went on here, and we're still working to get that information. Ken and Vicki, back to you. Dan, I'm curious, are these two shootings real close to each other? The place where the son was shot, how far is that from where the woman was shot by police? Yeah, it, it appears the, the shooting with the son definitely had to have happened within the apartment complex itself. We haven't been able to get to that area, but when we went around the corner here uh, behind one of these poor shops, we have Perfect Poor Cafe here. Around the other side, we could see investigators with their heads kind of, you know, part of their heads poking up over the fence there, taking pictures of what was going on there. And then the mom apparently took off in a car that was... It looked like she was trying to get up onto the freeway there, but they were able to eventually stop her and then open fire on, on her. So the scenes are, are very, very close to each other. Police responding here really quickly this morning around 7.50. Going on a while, uh, have they given you any indication when they're going to open up that, those roads? Uh, so far, there hasn't been any indication as to when they're going to open them up, but we have seen fewer police officers than there were when we first got to the scene here. Uh, the forensics team was just here a moment ago, continues to be here. The San Mateo County coroner's truck also pulled up here as well. Uh, they have uh, taken off from the scene, but there's also people that are trying to get to the uh, homes that are here because this area is cordoned off along a uh, pretty good stretch. So there's a lot of apartments that are along the way here, a lot of homes that people are still trying to get into. Um, so it could be here for the next several minutes, could be the next several hours. Um, we're going to keep you up to date and we'll see what happens. All right, Dan Thorne in Pacifica, uh, watching what uh, develops out there throughout the rest of the evening. Thank you, Dan.